So we're ready to put our pocket pages in. So I use 3 8 of an inch tape. Remember, this is a 5 8 of an inch hinge. So we have a quarter of an inch down below that does not have tape. And that's going to help you line up your pages. So this is going to be page one right here. So remember, we have not adhered our back um, inside panels yet because that way it's easier to add our pages so this should just where is the pocket just go in there like that put it down let it fall and then you can kind of pull it up till you see the tape and that's going to tell you where to stop and then you go back down just a tad so that is where that one is going to be going. And we are going to line it up. Oh, how can I keep this straight? I need something to tell me it's straight. I'll have to, I don't have anything down here. Hmm, let's see. So that is going to be page one. And when we put them in and pull the tape, I need I need something down here to let me know it's straight. I think I'll put this down here. Let's see. If I put that. Quarter of an inch. That looks good. So I'm just going to use this as my guide. I'm not going to pull a tape yet, but that's in. That would go like that. This is page two. This is page three. There's page three. This is page four, page five. So you just want to make sure when you're pulling the tape that these are all lined up straight. And I just go in with my pick tool and pull them out and do one at a time. Burnish them real well. I'm sure you've seen other people do this, but I have to get my head way down here because I cannot see. But main thing is make sure these are lined up straight across on the top and on the bottom. I think that looks good like this, like this. I like that, that looks, that looks good. So that's how they should be lining up like that. So our pocket pages are all in. We're going to be um, covering these, these big gussets later, but those are all in. Now we can adhere the inside um, covers. So this one, I've already got my score tape on. If you use glue, you use glue. This is just going to go right over here like this. and. I'm going to pull my score tape and then put that on, and I'll be right back. So that is in. So then you need to cover up this gusset. So you have this 5 eighths of an inch gusset, 
and I'm just using a cutoff from this piece that was from the 12 by 12 that we just put underneath here. So whatever paper you end up putting under there, you just put this and make it the same length as this piece here. So that's going to go in that gusset right like that. So once you have this gusset in, um, you don't have to do this. Here's the piece we use to line this page here, the, the flowered paper with the rose. I've already cut it. So this is the same one that's going, that was here. So I just cut, um, it's an eighth of an inch. I could have cut it a little wider. And I'm gonna put that there to cover that hinge right there so it'll look it'll look like this. So I'm gonna put that down. Okay, so I'm coming through these gussets. So I have my little piece here that's covering up the the flap here. So I just found this piece and cut off a little bit here. It's a little less than a quarter of an inch. Same thing on this side, a little less than a quarter inch. That's going to go here. So then I was playing around like, what should I put here? It's a half an inch strip. First I put in this and I really inked it down because it was way, it's way too busy. Didn't like it. This I did not like at all. So I just cut out a half a piece of um, cardstock, craft cardstock, inked it, just pulled my, my ink, this thing, just pulled it down all the way down um, just to get a lot of ink on it. You can see my fingers. I thought that's kind of neutral. And I think I actually like this. It's not too busy, covers up the black. Um, I think I'm gonna try that. You guys don't even have to cover up those gussets if you don't want, you can just leave them black. Black just looks too stark. I think that actually looks pretty good. It's neutral, looks like a book might ink it just a little darker, but I think that's what I'm going to do and probably do it for this one over here too. I think that would look actually good there. Oops. And have to figure out what I'm going to do on this side. But for now, I think I'm going to be adding this here. So there's how that piece looks. So it is heavily inked. I mean, it is, I kind of put a little too much at the bottom, but um, I was just pulling it through. And I think that actually looks kind of like a, kind of good. I like the solid there. Breaks up the busy patterns. So I think that's what I'm gonna do on this, this page too. So for this page, I cut off the blue, uh, just the blue strip from right here on the 12 by 12. So it's just going down this edge and it's, you can see where I cut it off right there. So it's right there. So I'm gonna cut this to seven and seven eighths inches tall, ink that and put that in there and then this was just cut from this paper. And I'm gonna put that in, in here. So get those inked up. And then um, I'm going to do the craft card stock half an inch and ink that up too and see how that comes out. So here is how this looks once everything is put in. So I think that looks really nice. 
So that's that gusset and these two little areas underneath the hinges. For the front, same thing, I used the, the Craft Cardstock Heavily Inked. This one is at the same height as this page. So I made this one as long as this page. This little strip is from this paper right here, right there. So this is how the front is. So the gussets and hinges are all, all um, matted with their, their respective um, designer paper.